All right, hello for Christ's Light. Today we're going to be reading about Doubting Thomas. And we can find this in our Bible in the chapter John, chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. So I'll, we'll start here, and if you'd like to read along, you can. So on Easter Sunday evening, Jesus appeared to his disciples in a locked room in Jerusalem. But Thomas, one of the twelve disciples, was not with them. As soon as the other disciples saw Thomas, they told him, We have seen the Lord, he's alive. Thomas refused to believe them. He said, First, I have to see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger into those marks. I also have to put my hand into the place where the soldier's spear went into his side. Otherwise, I will not believe that Jesus is really alive. A week later, the disciples were together again in the same house. This time, Thomas was with them. And even though the doors were once again locked, Jesus suddenly appeared in the room and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus held out his hands to Thomas and said, Look at my hands. Put your finger here and feel the nail marks. Then reach out your hand and feel the scar that the spear left in my side. Stop doubting and believe. Now Thomas was certain that Jesus had risen from the dead. He cried out, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Thomas, you believe now because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen me and still have believed in me. So that is our lesson for today, and we're going to end by praying together this prayer right down here. So we're going to fold our hands, bow our heads. Dear God, we want to be Jesus's witnesses. Lead us to your word often so that we learn all we need to know about Jesus. Teach us to witness boldly for him. Amen. All right, and that was our lesson for today, and you have homework on Edmodo. All right, bye.